Hey, what is it going on guys? It is OGC here. Today we are going to be doing Void 135 as perfect, or we're, we're doing it perfectly, as human. Uh, so it is original gaming culture here. Welcome to the channel guys. If you have not subscribed already, please subscribe. Hit the big thumbs up button. Ask questions in the comments below. Let me know what Void stage you're on in the comments below and let's hop in. So I went as human after having success as perfecting 134. So I set up my formation that I did uh, earlier on. And if we look at the enemy, uh, the enemy has, what is that? Seven packs of uh, archers, uh, two packs of mounted archers, two packs of like some weird flanking cavalry, three archangels, uh, one pack of spears and four packs of Templars. It is a lot. So we'll, we'll take a quick look and see all that they do have, which, which is a lot. So I have five packs of swordsmen. I have four in the front. Uh, and then on the top, I have uh, three packs of swordsmen. They, they kind of create like a um, two in the front with one behind. There's a reason for that. So when I normally do these stages, especially against the mountain archers as Slith, uh, there's enough trees and the roots kind of lock the mounted archers uh, in place so that they can't get behind me. What I found uh, worked for me in this was loading up with two packs of swordsmen on that side. For some reason, the mounted archers and or the flanking cavalry like to run on the left hand side. I guess this camera's inverse, so the left hand side. So to combat that, that mechanic of it, I loaded up with swords on that side. Um, so that is why there's a influx of, of all of the swords uh, up there. You'll see what I mean when the, the fight starts. On the bottom, we have Avalon giving his war horn off to, uh, three packs of archers. Next, we have our standard turtle and we also have, uh, the archangel. Behind the turtle is Virian. Again, I want Virian in the middle away from Avalon's war horn. Uh, to stay alive as long as possible. We have uh, our traditional dragon. We also have Elena for the magic resist. You have to have magic resist for those archangels. Their hyper beams destroy stuff. And Cleo, I don't know if you can see Cleo from here super well, but she is up there with, um, she, she's up there uh, just above the turtle. Uh, so I did go with uh, Cleo. I tried doing it with, um, with, with other heroes and it just, uh, it, it didn't work at, as well. I tried doing it with like Vega, Jax, Mako, uh, Cleo, you just need to, to kind of uh, hold the enemies in position long enough, at least during the strategy that I'm doing for this. Um, so we are going to jump in and we will start the fight. So immediately start off with the Cleo black hole. Uh, also, important side note, my turtle, you can see that this one is level 13. This is not a borrowed turtle. My ult is actually, uh, I, I, I moved it uh, before I transferred servers ahead of time. So I had to use a non-borrowed turtle, which put me at a big disadvantage. This stage would be way easier if I had a borrowed turtle. Anyways, I digress. Let's continue. So we, we run in there. We do the turtle after Cleo. Next thing that we're going to do, we're going to do that, um, the origin stone and we're going to keep it on the dragon. That way the dragon gets, uh, as much health back as possible. That percentage get the bonus of aid. We need the dragon alive. We're fighting all humanoids basically. Uh, next we're going to do a rally, uh, on a pack of archers just to increase their damage because they are the Zen human archers. You can see on the top how my swordsmen are clustered up in that area. Um, that, that's, that's important. I do the Virian resurrection to keep all the swordsmen alive. I'm breaking through. I'm finally starting to make it towards the back line. I I'm holding off on the Archangel resurrection for as long as possible. Uh, my archers keep getting war loose on the, the bottom and I start to, to swing around. I finally do the resurrection with the Archangel and now I have swordsmen running in their back line. I still have Virian and three packs of somewhat healthy swordsmen on, on the bottom holding off on the, all the flanks. If I tried doing this with an extra pack of archers instead of the, the back to back swordsmen 
and I would just get surrounded by the mounted archers, so it, it just wasn't working for me. And there we go, we, we took it out. We have plenty of time left over, about 10 seconds, uh, or nine seconds. And that, that's plenty of time left over for a siege like this with four, four heroes and less, uh, and considering I, I used five melee troops. So to start off with the, the dragon, we have the three blessed purples, blessed noble blood, blessed humanoid, my standard dragon. We have next the archangel with um, the, the big thing being the resurrection. We have my swordsman, uh, you can see my swordsman stats, they're, they're not, not half bad. Uh, next, we take a quick peek at the archers. Again, the archer stats themselves are not too bad. Uh, and scatter arrow. Uh, again, this is part of the reason why I use the rally ability from Virian. You, you'll see just how much damage that, that one pack that I did the rally on did. It's absolutely insane. Absolutely insane. Um, so those are the archers. This is my turtle, it's non-borrowed, so it's not as good as it could be. And then we have Cleo, standard uh, Rod of Justice, and uh, standard setup, it's all about the uh, black hole. Next is Virian. Virian has the Origin Stone. Uh, that's super useful. I, I'm finding out that I, I like it more and more for, for the Void. Um, and the same setup as the previous video, basically, Max out uh, Sword Mastery, Sword Resurrection, a couple points into his bubble, and as much into Crusader Shield as, as I can get. From there we have Elena. Elena's just there for the magic resists. Um, I could have uh, geared her differently, but it, it worked. And Avalon, with all the plus one skill items and the command artifact, and then typical skills for him. When we look at the damage, look at this damage, guys. 85.92 million damage off of one pack of archers. That's the one that I gave the rally to early on. Um, at least that's my assumption because it kept getting uh, moral boost after moral boost. When they have those moral boosts, they have a 1 in 4 chance of doing double damage essentially. Absolutely insane. Absolutely insane. I'm, I'm super happy with, with, that, uh, with that outcome and, and that amount of damage. Alright, so basic rundown and took a screenshot just because I, I was super happy with it all hit okay we got perfect let's go uh, claim our rewards and let's see what our rewards are so we come down it's uh, looks like a one piece of a dragon set for the mages and we also collect our flawless item it is the flawless uh, something scepter I cannot pronounce that not even going to bother to uh, not a bad item not an amazing item I will take it so that, ladies and gentlemen, is Void 135 perfected as human, running with mostly swords. Uh, again, I ran with five packs of melee, one turtle, three packs of archers. Uh, not necessarily a traditional setup, but it, it's to protect that flank from being um, flanked by the mounted archers and mounted cavalry. So if you guys have not subscribed already, please subscribe. Thumbs up the, the video if you want to see more, more content. Tell me in the comments section below uh, what portion of the void that you are currently in. And with that, guys, have a wonderful day. I will see you guys soon.